friends welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how you can make your own large decals for Bloxburg. these are the kind of decals you can use for shop signs you can use them to do like a whole wall image things like that how to get these pictures to link together so that when you have one more than one decal making the image it all links up perfectly so today i'm going to show you how to do these decals behind me so the first one is a logo for a donut shop and the second one is a kind of wallpaper pattern um yeah it's super simple i just want to show you guys how you can do this because it took me a little while to realize how easy it is to do this and then once I did it I've been making my own decals for a little while for like my builds and stuff like my cat cafe and my town and stuff and it's super fun and it just makes your build a little bit more creative and different because you've done it yourself so without further ado I guess we should get onto our editing software so I can show you guys how to make these beautiful decals behind me so here I am on Photoshop as you can see I use Photoshop to edit all of my thumbnails for my videos so you can see my two latest thumbnails here and then all the pictures I've used to edit them I use Photoshop literally all the time I've used Photoshop for a few years now and I do think it's a really good photo editor if you are looking to pay for a photo editor if not though there are some good Photoshop alternatives some free online ones that I'm gonna leave in the description below I'll try find a couple you don't really need all of the features for Photoshop for this tutorial but if you guys are looking to buy a photo editor I do really recommend Photoshop I do think it's really good it's really easy to work once you've got kind of the hang of the basics you can basically do whatever you want with it so I do really really love Photoshop the first decal I'm gonna do is gonna be a logo for a shop I'm gonna make a donut shop logo because I'm kind of feeling like making a donut shop soon I think it'd be a really cute little design um so I'm gonna do a decal which is two square decals put together so it's gonna be two decals long I think this is a good size for a shop logo I either do two or three decals long for shop logo but I think I'm gonna do two so first of all we want to create the template for our decals I'm gonna go create new so if we imagine that each square decal is 10 by 10 centimeters and we want two decals next to each other then we need the decal to be 20 by 10 centimeters in width and height so that is the diameters I'm gonna go for so I put it in centimeters and I'll put the width as 20 and I'm gonna put my height as 10 I'm keeping my resolution at 72 which is a good resolution for online images and I'm also going to keep the colour mode as RBG colour which is a really good colour palette for online images as well. Once you've made your template it should look a little something like this and then you will start to build your logo for your shop or store or whatever you're making on top of this image. I'm gonna have a little bit of a Blue Peter moment if any of you guys are old enough to remember Blue Peter and say here's one that I made earlier so this is a logo I made earlier for a donut shop I made this quite easily by going onto Google and I searched up donut PNG and grabbed an image which was this one here and then I also added some sprinkles in the background and then just added some text I'm not going to show you guys how to make a logo I'm just going to show you guys how to make the decal so once you've got this we need to now split it into two different decals to upload onto Roblox so again we are going to go file and new this time when we make a template we are going to make a 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters so that it is the exact size of our decal once we've got this template open we want to go back onto our logo i'm going to use this grabby tool here to select the whole image then go edit copy merge so we're copying all the layers together come onto the new template and do edit and paste now we need to line this up so that it fits perfectly so this is our half of the decal and we are going to save this half as it is so we're going to do file save as and i'm just going to save it to my desktop as donut logo one and i'm going to save this as a png file you can either save it as a png or a jpeg file either works fine i'm just going to save it as a png and save so now we need to get the other side of the decal so I'm just gonna move this over until we have the other end in the image as you can see we have the line here which is the end of the decal we need to line that up with the end of this perfect and then we're gonna save this decal as well so both of those decals are now saved ready to be uploaded onto Roblox for the next image I'm just gonna show you guys how to make a simple wallpaper so for this it's super easy we just need our five times five template again and super simple I'm just gonna go onto Google images and I've searched up donut repeat pattern um, so what a repeat pattern is that it means that when these are placed next to each other 
they will link up perfectly and you can have a repeat pattern and this is how you can make a wallpaper that adds up perfectly on Bloxburg. So I'm just going to look for a nice donut pattern that I want to add. This is quite a cute picture here so I'm just going to grab this by doing copy image and I'm just going to paste it onto here. I just want to resize it so it fits perfectly in our square. It does look like a square image which is good. Perfect, so there we have our wallpaper and I'm just going to check that it does add up perfectly so I'm just going to make a new document quickly. I'm just going to do a, what size should I do? We'll do a 20 by 20 centimeter one. We're just going to paste this twice and make sure that they add up perfectly, which they do. Once you see the place together, they add up perfectly. So we just want to save this decal and I'm just going to save this again as donut shop wallpaper. And now to upload our decals, we just want to head onto Roblox and we are going to go on create. Then we are going to go on decals and this is where you can upload your decals. As you can see here is some of the ones I've made before. So here's a daycare logo that I made. Here's some of my logos from my cat cafe. And you simply just find your file and upload it into here. So here's part one of my donut logo uploaded and part two and finally the donut shop wallpaper. Now, because Roblox has quite strict rules, it might take a little while for these to show up on Roblox. That's because Roblox has to check all the images and check that they are safe for children. Check there's no swear words, no inappropriate images. My microphone just full on fell off. I'm so sorry guys. As I was saying, they've got to check that there's no inappropriate images and no swear words, anything like that on the decals. So that's why it might take a little while before these show up in game. So I'll speak to you guys again in a moment when they have shown up. So I'm now here on Bloxburg and my decals have loaded into Roblox so we can finally add them in game on Bloxburg and see what they look like. So we're going to start with the Donut Shop logo. So I'm just in my inventory here and as you can see I'm in decals and my decals have now loaded into the game so I'm just going to open all of these and first of all we are going to grab Donut Logo 1 and to get in game you need to grab the numbers that are in the URL bar so there should be like a line of numbers you just need to grab those numbers I'm not sure if they're on screen at the moment because my um screen will, won't be showing as much as when I was editing because when I'm on Bloxburg it shows less um, but hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about you need to just grab it out of the URL bar and then you need to come into game go over to the decal that you want to change press E to change the picture and paste this number into here and then press add and there we have the first part of the logo so I'm just going to add the second part in now and there is our full donut shop logo and it looks so so cute I kind of want to paint the wall behind it like a pretty pink colour to go with it so I'm quickly going to do that but it looks so adorable I really do love it I'm just going to paint it this nice carnation pink and then we'll go have a look at it again oh my god it like matches my outfit it's so cute Look how adorable this looks guys. So that is our donut shop logo. Now we're gonna do the wallpaper. So again, I'm just grabbing that number that is in the URL and going over to the decal I want to change, doing E, change picture, paste in the number. And I'm gonna do this for all four images on this wall. And as you can see, we have this really adorable donut wallpaper. Can you imagine a whole room with like a wall covered in this in like a cafe? It would be so, so cute. I am gonna link the decals of these two down below so if you guys do want to use these decals you will be able to use them but that is it for today's video I hope this helped you guys out if you want me to make some more videos like this on how to make some other decals maybe like a large image decal or maybe I don't know circle decals long decals do let me know and I'll do another video like this again in the future but for now guys a huge thank you for watching as always please do like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video comment down below with any future video ideas and thank you guys bye Mwah!